Hello. Today we're going to look at this blog post. And it says, I'm a former CTO. Here is the 15 second coding test I used to do instantly to filter out 50% of unqualified ap applicants. We're going to take a look at what it is. If you have a remote position open, your challenge is not attracting the correct candidate. It's filtering out the bad ones because you will have hundreds or thousands of them. This is my favorite technique. Add a programming knockout question to the application process that is so simple to solve that the only and the asterisk, unqualified developers will not do it manually. Here is the question. What is the result? So it's some Python code here. And we can reveal the answer, but we will read first. The logic, of course, is that uh, uh, oh, maybe we should try to solve it first. And then we continue the reading. I have not looked at it before. We have result equals zero, and then it's a for loop. And we go through three, three, and five. And each iteration we check if x, so that's the value we get here. If it's larger than three, then we do this. Otherwise we do this. So the first iteration, take three, if, is it bigger than three? No, then we do here, zero plus three. So that's three, and then the same thing happens here, and then we will have six here. And then the last iteration here is five bigger than three, yes. And then we take result minus x, so we had six here, minus five, so that's uh, one. Uh, what does it say? What is the result? One, and what does it mean? It's minus 11, well, what is minus 10? Oh, oh, maybe it's uh, four different options. But we think it's one, so we will reveal the answer. If you got one, congratulations, you have wired your brain to easily interpret code. If you got minus 11, you copy pasted it somewhere. The trick is that there is a hidden equal sign in the conditional if x is greater than three. Okay. Uh, maybe some Unicode thing or HTML that it's super small or something because I cannot see it. I can try to inspect here. I'm gonna try to mark it. I didn't see anything, but if we go here with inspector three, here we maybe have it if, and here we have x is greater than, uh, here we have the equal sign, opacity is zero and font size is one pixel. Okay, so if we had uh, copied uh, this, I guess, and then like, into Claude. And then we ask Claude here, oh yeah, and then we have the equal sign here. We'll see what it answers. Maybe we get it, yeah, minus 11. That was a clever trick. Let's see what he says then. The logic is of course that for a good programmer it would be more of a hassle to copy, open an interpreter or chat GPT, paste it, run it, then answer, then just run the code in their head. I used a very similar question while I was CTO at monetize more. Interesting things happen. 50% of candidates got the AI slash interpreter answer. 47% answered the question correctly. 3% answered incorrectly. And then it says here in the end, a few candidates resubmitted the application after getting the answer wrong. In parentheses, we didn't tell them. One of those candidates was a great hire. And lastly, one candidate posted the incorrect question to a forum and got an answer. So when subsequent candidates googled the incorrect question, they got the wrong answer. So, and here with the asterisks also, I should say this method is not perfect and you will get false negatives, but I see it more as a doubling your ability to process candidates or reducing in half your recruitment time. So very clever, 50% apparently are using AI or an interpreter. So like I guess with interpreter, they mean like posting it into Python. Okay, if we run it, uh, we'll see what, oh, here we got a minus 11 as well. When we did it in Python. Uh, so 
quite clever. Uh, I think uh, maybe we will see more of these tricks now in the AI age when people are more and more reliant on AI and people are not even thinking anymore. So even though it's like a simple piece of code, uh, they just automatically go to uh, ChatGPT and uh, um, yeah, ask that instead of thinking for themselves. And maybe on a like interview, then maybe that's like where you should show your own skills. But uh, it's a bit interesting here that uh, uh, like they told that there was candidates who resubmitted the application who had got the answer wrong, and one of those was a great hire actually. So uh, maybe you will filter out some good uh, people uh, with this method. But uh, I think. Uh, when the, there are so many apl applicants, like I've read that uh, on some like remote positions that this is talking about, like they're getting like hundreds uh, of applicants. So you have to do something to filter them out. You cannot go through everyone and uh, carefully look at everything. I think uh, you need to find some tricks to be able to filter them out. So I think this one was quite uh, clever and um, yeah, funny. And that was everything I wanted to share today. And uh, I hope you have a great day and uh, see you another time. Bye bye.